again. Make that thieving liar pay. <sighs> well, it's been fun, guys. But it looks like my ride is here. Nice knowing you. Drop your weapons. Surrender now. I made it this far. Do you really think you can stop me? He's got a point. You don't want to die here, do you? Shut up! We do not negotiate with riffraff. The Empire fears no one. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. You have a chance to end this peacefully. This is not a negotiation! What are you waiting for? Kill him! That was exciting. It's good to finally meet you in person, Captain. You're back in the Republic Army now, Vic. Act like it. <laughs> yes, sir, Captain, sir. Permission to stomp that fat bureaucrat's head in, sir. Uh, <laughs> let's not be hasty now. I am a man of honor, despite what you may have heard. Yeah, nice guy. You stole from your people and betrayed them to the Empire by accident. I've made mistakes, certainly, but allow me to make amends. A contribution of credit, say, to repay the Republic's heroism on behalf of my fellow Balmorans. I don't want your credits, Oris. Get out of here. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Whatever you wish. Should have just killed a fat scumbag. Now, seeing as we're all on the same team, I'll fill you in on my little operation. That vault we blew open is full of pricey prototype weapons designed by Balmoran companies. Oris had them hidden before the Imperial invasion to keep them safe. Oris never told the Imperials about these weapons? Of course not. He wanted to make money on them. Oris planned to sell the prototypes for a tidy profit. We could do the same, after picking a few choice items for ourselves. Those prototypes should be put to use, not sold for profit. Quite right, Captain. These weapons must be turned over to the proper authorities in accordance with Regulation 87C. I bet you change your mind once those blasters are in front of us. Let's just get to the vault. If we don't move fast, the imps might find the prototypes.
knock it off. Security message. Your computer has been locked up. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or
walk it off. Here they are. Here they are, Sergeant. Go ahead and bring your men through. It's clear. Captain, this is Sergeant Tong. I took the liberty of calling his transport team in to get these captured enemy weapons crated and moved. I appreciate you coming all this way to help us. No problem, sir. Hostile pickup is our specialty. Where can we take this stuff for you, sir? Yeah, sir. Where are they taking all these highly advanced, highly useful, highly valuable prototype weapons? These weapons belong to the Balmorans. They should go back to them. Copy that, sir. Get moving, men! You're insane. The Balmorans are never going to share that tech with the Republic when they could make money instead. Those weapons were designed and built by Balmorans. We don't have any right to them. Nobody would have those weapons if not for us. We did all the work.
Even Havoc Squad can learn from a veteran. Stay sharp out there. I finally tracked down Vic. He's coming with me. Yeah, I heard about the prototype weapons. You think giving them back makes up for years of Republic mistakes? I don't have any agenda. The weapons belong on Dalmora. Yeah, right. Vic is probably the only reason you're leaving the prototypes. He understood what Balmora's been through. I could always tell. Vic was adamant that those prototypes go directly to the Balmoran resistance. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you here, Captain, but we both know that's a lie. Come back when Havoc Squad is done showboating all over the galaxy. We'll put you to work for a real cause. Good luck in the battle for Balmora, Arden. Ready and able. Hold still. to consider how long the Balmorans have been carrying on this fight. See anything you like, give me a wink. Creds back any time. Were you successful in locating and extracting Tano Vic to serve in Havoc Squad? Consider me located and extracted, General. Good. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. Has Vic given you any trouble, Captain? A bit, but I cleared things up. I'm glad to hear it. Tano Vic, your service with the Republic Army is hereby resumed. You are posted to Special Forces Unit 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, at the rank of specialist. It's a real honor to be here, General. I look forward to getting out there and fighting for the Republic again. Permission to speak, Captain. What do you have to say, Lieutenant? Vic's a liar, he's reckless, and he has no regard for the lives of his fellow soldiers. With all due respect, I don't think someone like Vic has a place anywhere in the Republic Army, let alone Havoc Squad. The squad has to have the best explosives expert available. That's Vic. Just don't say I didn't warn you, sir. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed, involving a critical part of our plan to assault the gauntlet. Havoc Squad is needed immediately. A platoon specializing in bunker assaults, codenamed Safecrackers, is trapped behind enemy lines on Kresh. They must be rescued immediately. We cannot destroy the gauntlet without them. Surely this isn't the only platoon we have. Captain. 
A bit, but I'm Gopano. It's a real honor to be permission to speak. What do you have to say, Luke? It's a liar. He's wrecked with all. I don't want Vic in my unit either, but I don't have any choice. Well, you know how to make a guy feel welcome. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed involving a critical part of the. I'll proceed to Quesh immediately, General. When you reach Quesh, report to Major Donovan. He's overseeing the rescue operation. Why are the Republic's forces fighting on Quesh, General? Quesh is the only source of a rare chemical used to produce powerful adrenals. The Republic is fighting to maintain control of this resource. This mission is vital, Captain. If we fail, our entire operation against the Gauntlet is ruined. Stay focused. And bring those men home. Garza out. I'm still quite concerned about Captain Kalor and his accusations, sir. If Personnel Division thinks I'm withholding information about the Empire, they can continue hounding me under Security Regulation 15. I think if men like Kalor had their way, I'd be locked in a room reciting the minutiae of Imperial culture until the end of time. You'll get a lot more done in the field. I couldn't agree more. I do sometimes wonder if I'm being unfair, though. I'm one of the only people in the Republic with extensive knowledge of Imperial culture. Perhaps I have a responsibility to do what few others can, even if it's not what I'd like to be doing. You shouldn't be forced to do anything. I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels that way. Thank you for taking the time to hear me out. It's good to have someone to talk to. I know I'm your commander, but uh, that doesn't have to be all. I hadn't that isn't something I'm used to considering. I really shouldn't occupy any more of your time. Thank you, sir. That's easier said than done. Still no word on the Dead Eyes location. Balker hasn't had any success decrypting those coordinates we picked up. This is taking too long. For all we know, the Imperials have relocated the Dead Eyes. That intel could be obsolete. We can still pick up a new trail if we follow those coordinates. I suppose you're right. I'll keep monitoring the Hollow. Maybe something will turn up. I've discovered the perfect target for our next operation, Lord Kavos. Kavos is a marauding Sith Lord responsible for countless deaths. Exactly the type of dangerous scum we're uniquely qualified to eliminate. Give me the full brief, Forex. With pleasure, sir. Lord Kavos single-handedly destroyed a Republic outpost on Brental IV, massacring his personnel. He fought and killed two Jedi Knights simultaneously. According to intelligence reports, this butcher is becoming a hero to the Empire's ravening masses. Neutralizing him will help our cause greatly. What did they say about killing two Jedi Knights? Aisha and Nil, two renowned Jedi with years of combat experience. Lord Kavos cut them down without suffering a single injury. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to facing this threat head on, sir. I'm going to begin my search right away. No Imperial will stand in our way. The Republic will triumph.
This is just too good. I get slick equipment, a nice ride, and a ready supply of every explosive there ever was. I think this will do, boss. I try to run a good outfit. I'm sure you do. Trust me. You keep me happy, I'll keep you happy. Now let's go put some of this fancy equipment to use. All right, boss. Time to talk some business. Bunch of credits just came through from a weapons deal I had going on Balmora. Another weapons deal I had going back on Balmora. This is your cut. How many schemes do you have going, Vic? They're not schemes. They're opportunities. And not just for me. You're the new boss. You get a cut no matter what. You got it. 